Hey everyone, Meowcity here. Welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon Modded Estate Season 3, I suppose. I'm still trying to come up with a name for it. <laughs> so today, we're going to start off by going at the Lesser Kraken. He popped up last time, so I'd really like to get him. Sometimes there's a small problem with him disappearing. And he also gives uh, Crimson Court Trinkets, so I'm going to get Flagellant Trinket for just beating the quest. And I should get another trinket just for beating him. He is a relatively hard hard boss though so it's kind of a if I beat him type deal I'm uh, not walking in there expecting to get out without losses so the plan is and I am actually going to I thought about it I'm going to spend some of the deeds to upgrade the armor here just because he is a harder boss I'm going to go in with the plan that I had been using before where said here the upwat however you pronounce it I'm probably butchering the name I'm sorry where he heals really good especially if anyone is bleeding which I know the Kraken can do I can't actually remember if he does blighted he might and he also does healing if the target's HP is below 35% which may actually happen but otherwise he can just buff the damage with the same move there that's what's going to be going on the trophy hunter or the saw hunter so 80% damage there so that's the main two things that's going to be happening from the upwat if i really need to i can clear debuffs and minus the bleed and blight amount received and really the other stuff i don't really plan on using i could do shadow curse to minus accuracy but i think we're good with the moves that has right now rex here just gonna plan on doing bloody ambition i am actually gonna trade out terrorize for trifuricate because we will be getting him bleeding and otherwise biting blade or teeth rake he also has a deep stinger which ups his bleed chance and on melee hit has a chance to bleed and we have the crocodilian's teeth which plus five accuracy and plus bleeding skill chance I may end up switching something out here on the actual Kraken itself for Thrill of the Hunt, depending upon how many kills I have on the Trophy Hunter here. Just because target and self plus 7 speed. I'm not sure how long that lasts or if it's for the entire battle, but that could be really handy if I plop it on him and say the chill chuck because then i could buff the ever living heck out of anyone i wanted and just go plus damage plus damage plus damage plus damage and then uh the saw hunter of course bloodletting teeth does damage and bleeding into the wound does plus damage versus bleeding i can hit the back row i do also have the bloody feather on so that's plus damage versus bleeding and plus damage if there's a corpse for getting there didn't realize that he was uh, immune to the crimson curse that's kind of handy and he also has blade master which i should lock in after this if i get the chance because blade master gets really really good <laughs> three percent damage accuracy and crit with melee skills which is pretty much all he does and then uh chill chuck here i have other forms of marking and only really chill chuck benefits from it if i remember right here however mark target and up damage received so i probably will be doing mark weak point if i'm not doing guide attack which is plus three base damage accuracy and crit however otherwise uh, if the target is marked for whatever reason jugular shot does plus bleed amount so it'll probably be like a three bleed unless i can upgrade it to the kraken which will make a uh, biting blade and into the wound a little bit better and then a blinding knife, just lower accuracy. All right, here goes absolutely nothing. Woe to those who embrace the Kraken's maw. So yeah, he's down. It's only four up. Usually this is a lot longer of a walk for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm not taking that much damage on Rex right away. <laughs> So I can de-stress with the holy water, but I'd rather save that. I'd really rather save that for the uh, crack in there. And of course we got maggots. Maggots as a first fight is fun, right? Another one falls. Okay, I was thinking it would bleed out, but I'm I'm fine with this. And then let's just up damage so that we know we're taking it out. And of course, he's going to get stunned. Deep burn. How did we get burned by a maggot biting us? I have so many questions. 
I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Actually, uh, you know what? He should probably be moved there. What is Steep Burn? Minus 15% Blight and Bleed Resistance. Minus 25 Disease Resistance. That's a, that's a little bit nasty. Okay, continuing on. I don't have blood. Otherwise, I would give it to him. He usually gives good trinkets, especially this early on. This is why we brought torches. I can click the torches. Food check already. Right. Passing that. Good job, Rex. Good job. And survey says, humming sycophant and a gentleman. All right, so we're not going to take anything out with Chilchuck, but what we could possibly do is guiding attack here. And then scout's eye here. Ooh. Gentleman's in range. No. So... Probably a better chance of taking out the humming sycophant. Now it bleeds out. And he can probably take out the gentleman. Destroyed. Now I got two out of three for the thrill of the hunt. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Okay, hey, no Crimson Curse. I'm happy about that. It's already used its turn, so... We can get a third on Rex already. I'll be happy. And let's heal chill. Compassion is a rarity in the fevered pitch of battle. I was doubting that would hit, but now we do extra damage because of Biting Blade. Or actually, it's extra crit, but nonetheless... Slaughter is its own reward, he says. At least promises success. All right. He really does remind me of uh, Lizardmen from Warhammer. <laughs> and now he got Hashimoto's. Rex, my man. Healing done and stress relief done down. The speed isn't the worst thing in the world because I kind of do want him going last right now just because of buffs, but... All right. You do you, sir. And then you do you. See if the thing happens with the cocots, because I have some issues with them. One sycophant down. And we can most likely get a cocot down. Decimated. Um, yeah, let's buff. Seems to be working. Festering fear. Oh, that's actually not great for Rex. 
we can start healing him a bit, just because he's a little bit down. These sycophants can be easier to get down, so Kokat down. And at least bleed this little guy. Didn't do the thirst, it's not gonna heal. That little action always makes me think it's going back with how it's aimed. But no, it's going forward. It's kind of odd. <laughs> And it's down. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. All right, taking what I can. Popping that bandage. I do want the deeds. Uh, we'll get rid of the gold. And then Rex. If of only treasure could staunch the flow of other I'll do that. corruption. I didn't see who's a stack for now. So now we're in the last room. I do this. A feast. Is a little stress down. Alright, what do we got? Plus healing done, one companion. Plus heal. Don't exactly want the damage on him right now. And I especially don't want him to do less healing. Prevent nighttime ambush. I didn't realize he had this. Okay, let's see. Minus. All right, we'll keep that in mind and chill. What do we got? Prevent nighttime ambush minus surprise. Let's do that. So that's better than plus stress. <laughs> Same amount of time too. Plus five stress to receive 10% less stress for the entire battle. That could be nice, especially considering the Hashimoto's. That being said, though, okay, nine speed, minus two, five, and six. I think I need to do Marshland Predator to get some speed on him. And then if I do this, I know that's going to cost me most of my time. But the plus healing done could be really good. So otherwise, kind of what I'm thinking here is either stir and lecture or thick scales. So then he would take less damage. Get bleed resistance for the fight, which actually could work in my favor. How much bleed resistance do you have? We might need to do that because his bleed resistance is down. I mean, he was only at 45, but this would put him back at 60 some. And then Stern Lecture would get his stress back because, I mean, I guess he doesn't have stress down, but that works. So I'm not going to use bloody to resupply because we're not using those two skills, or any of those skills, rather. I think that's the best choice. Okay, that did work, okay. That, I guess, is a stir in lecture. Everyone losing their trust in you would be a blow to the group. All right. All right, Kraken should be right over here. Now, the question is... Do we want to get rid of Trifuricate for anything? Because kind of what I'm thinking is going to happen is we're going to be doing Biting Blade, Trifuricate, Biting Blade, Trifuricate. So he dances 3-2-3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two, three, two. I think we're fine. So then that would get rid of Teeth Rake, which potentially actually uh, Kraken can be in three and four, and then I wouldn't be able to hit him with Biting Blade. So Teeth Rake, not worth losing for a thrill of the hunt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep this. There's some stress relief. Dodge the trap, that's nice. And. Pop, 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 pop. Let's go. Hey, buddy. How's that maw treating you? Those are some gem-like looking eyes you got. Okay, so we need to get a bleeding first. So we're going to guide attack. So I want this to hit. We're also going to... Uh, 
our target's not gonna do me much good. I was just thinking, do I want on to uh, minus anything right off the bat? No, we're we're just gonna go scout side. And he's not in row two yet, so we're just we're we're going all in on Rexy here. Teeth rake. Get him bleeding. Now I can into the wound. Cause I wasn't sure he would go before uh Papillon. And it's uh I mean, not a considerable amount of damage difference. It's only two minimum to maximum and a 2% crit, even with the bloodied feather and doing 75 versus bleeding. But. Accuracy if in hive mode. Accuracy crit if in thirst mode, plus one speed. Okay. So now, what we're gonna do is buff Papillon while I go thrill of the hunt so that possibly we take out the Kraken faster. Scout's eye here. Into the wound, 17 to 35 before crit. Not a crit, still, still good. Yeah, those just stress out. They don't horror. Okay. Bloody Ambition. Get the Aegis. Get the Repost. You shouldn't have. Okay. Um, I still need to get him bleeding, so Rex is going to be the one for that. Unless I wanted to do Biting Blade for more damage. And this is... Plan. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're just going to do Jugular Shot, get the two bleed on him. A devastating blow. And we're just going to go for the damage against bleeding. Into the wound. You're fine. Blow. You're fine, Sud. At least it only heals the tentacle, it looks like. He does get ever gain, possibly, but we're fine. Fighting Blade didn't crit. We're fine. Because now Sud can up the damage on Trifuricate. Oh, shoot. Um. I want to up the damage on Trifuricate, but we probably need to do. Funerary rights. And shuffle. Got a few buff. Got a debuff for the entire battle. He does not have protection anymore. So I think he just got a little bit more dangerous. Crit if in position one. Armor piercing if in position one. Plus speed, minus damage received if in position four. Okay, so he's got crit and speed right now. Uh, he's got three bleed for three rounds, so we can guide attack. So let's do that on Trifuricate. I know I'm butchering the word. That's fine. <laughs> uh, he's got 40, huh? Ah, uh, so that is got minus speed that's why okay um brought the medicinal herbs for a reason i didn't even use them and the torch good dodge into the wound Cracking down. Falls. 
I did not expect this to go that smoothly. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> I was not expecting it to go that smoothly, and now everything from here is going to go downhill because of overconfidence. Alright, we got the silver tongue for the librarian. Is that a nail through the tongue? So, Kerr Crimson Court Air Trinket plus 15% Virtue Chance plus 10% Crit minus 30% Disease Resistance. Cozy and confident. Excuse me, that's cozy? Peace of mind plus 50% stress relief done for the plus 25%, not 50, plus 25% max HP. Yeah, let's get out of here. I got what I wanted on top of the chip tooth for the Crimson Courtyard trinket of the uh, flagellant plus 33% restoration duration and reclaim plus 33% bleed chance and 15% HP. We got another Baron's Invitation, we got a bunch of crests for what I just spent, and 8,000 gold. Rex is gonna be out for a while, Chilchuck also got Dancing Eyes. Oh, plus 20% random attack target chance, yeah he's going in treatment too. Crack and Hunger plus 100% food consumed, that's whatever. Isn't, no, Papillon had the Blade Dancer, Blade one because i was gonna say if he was also the one that had precise striker that would be amazing plus five percent crit melee skills zed got slugger so that that is what it is for how i've been using him and bloodthirsty on rex we got some fixing to do it's gonna be expensive i remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern yeah i got some trophy hunters already however uh i think I'm just going to do this so I can see, plus 50% resolve on the next quest. Trophy Hunters. These Outlanders have come in search of grim trophies to take home as proof of their prowess in battle. Let us hope they prove themselves useful before they leave us, one way or another. So, Ludra has Fragile, which is 10% max HP down, and then I don't really care about either of these. I know the tactician stuff can come in handy, but I never remember to use it. And this one has germaphobe, and I never really use them in groups that have blight, so that could be good. But then uh, eagle eye is whatever, and unearing is whatever, because they're both ranged skills, and she does not have ranged skills other than who's next. Unquiet mind may not meditate, so okay. And then precise striker and accuracy versus march. Might not be putting her in a marked group, but the precise striker is better. I am gonna just switch them out here. Send this one to journey elsewhere, for we have need of sterner stock. If I can spell, I'm not making that mistake again. And let's choose a skin I like. Ooh, I really like the uh, tattoo on this one though. I think it's a tattoo. And I forgot to do this with the Hellion. I'm not sure if I explained this already or if this was in the failed estate one. <laughs> so you can have the normal axe. You can have a double bladed axe. You can have a sword pole. I think it's technically a uh, version of a halberd, but I might be mistaking my weapons there. And then you can kind of have a Kanbato like uh, AOA here. Just a very much smaller version of it. <laughs> Some fun stuff here. I think I'm actually going to go with the Conbado just because I like it. And we'll go with that skin. And then let's see what's in the stagecoach. Oh, I love the vessel. I don't think I have an occultist yet. And he's another one with a pet. So we're going to grab all three of these guys. Fight the abyss. One must know it. So Al Hazard has a cat. I think he's the one who had Puss. Oh no, he had Kit. Puss is black, which is the Arblist. So we're going to go with those robes. Uh, this is Ghost. Almost all the skills I would normally use on him. There's a few like Piercing Slash, which would be nice if I had him in melee range. And then this I'm going to have to look up because S Purple, if I remember correctly, did not name it, have a canon name for any of their characters. I could be very wrong there, but actually I like more of you. Okay, and no palette changes. I might actually use these guys in the next one, uh, depending upon what's all available. Plan, plan, plan. So let's go with Fugatu in the front, because he can use Heavy Impact there, and then Perilous Flesh, and who is Creator. So I'm going to need to train a few skills on him. 
we can grab Ludra. And then who's gonna be pulling up the back? Should I grab Zoe as a just in case? Or is there someone else I should have as a healer? I feel bad bringing like Priscilla again, but I have Priscilla. I could bring Al, not that I need the mark. And that's what he does best in rank four. But the minus damage, minus protection would be nice. Oh, that's right. Abyssal Artillery got reworked. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Let's spend everything I have on skills really quick. <laughs> so if we got to, I want Phlebotomy and Excellence. So let's see this really quick here. So Heavy Impact, because Knockback 2, and that's his big move. We'll run Rage and Fear because it does have Stun. And then who is Creator for uh, Guarding? Ludra has Brutal Blow, which is her main attack. I need Triumph to de-stress people, which is going to be a big thing because of... Uh, it's not going to be as big of a thing. I was thinking Rage and Fear and Terrible Song were the same skill. So Rudiment isn't going to be as big of a stress person as I thought, but there may still be stress involved in this. And then I can grab Sentinel and Horn Rush, because I don't really care about trampling withdrawal. I don't really care about who's next. So Triumph, Horn Rush, Sentinel. Ghosty. I want Piercing Slash, and let's go Crippling Lunge for now. I know I'm buying a few many skills here, but hear me out. So Nail Strike moves forward. Piercing sl Slash moves back, which is going to be a little bit important. Lace Rating Cyclone. Oh, actually, this does plus damage versus marked. Okay, let's redo this. So I definitely want Nail Strike. I definitely want Vengeful Spirit. We'll grab Lace Rating Cyclone and Dream Nail. Redoing that thought a little bit. Uh, then Al, of course, we're grabbing our Bissell Artillery, and that's what he's going to have. Throw, do, do, do. Main attacks being a Bissell Artillery, Demon Pull. We're going to grab Vuln, Hex, and Reconstruction. Oh, unholy hell. Oh, he was right. Thanks, Sorting. So, I'm still not going to get this thing. <laughs> But I never noticed this white dot up until uh, Sorting Helmet pointed this out. So as you can see, I can't uh, do anything with this if I do this. He said it was a broken art asset most likely, but there's a white dot, so I can't actually see what it is. So I wonder if I can actually like, grab it from there, because if I were to uh, grab it from anywhere else, I normally can't interact with it. But I guess it's the boots of escape. Why is the ancestor's plate from a medium? Genuinely, why is the ancestor's plate or why is the ancestor's portrait from a medium? I'm not complaining, but I thought things like this were only from longs. Like, in, in my experience, usually those are only from longs and usually only from like veterans or harder. Oh no. <laughs> Don't tell me the estate's screwed already. It's... It's week 13. I need 150 plus weeks out of this. I'm At this point, I'm just checking to make sure everything else looks kosher. I suppose it's potential that it can just happen. Like it's not the rarest thing in the world. Here's another one. Give me a moment. There is some uh, shenanigans going on here, or at least according to the wiki. Oh, I close that. It says usually, so once again, this could be wrong or like a chance, but ancestral trinkets are usually found from bosses or I'm paraphrasing here because I accidentally closed this. Usually found from bosses or champion level dungeons. This is an apprentice. This is a medium. I don't think I'm supposed to have these as much as I would like to have them. They do say that I can find them in as loot in it like anything. I know for a fact that I found them like from Shambler loot and stuff like that. So I'm going to keep it as that. I'm not going to go for them. <laughs> I, I think there's some kind of shenanigans going on. I, I want to see one thing really quick. Yeah, no, Sorpa level, Sorpa level. So Papillon Cholchuk said Rex, Priscilla... 
all of them are really close to leveling up. But if I did the farmstead, I'm going to bite the bullet. I'm, I don't really want to do the farmstead because I don't, I'm not a fan of the wave stuff, but then the farmstead's almost available for me to take out and we'll almost be done with it. Blight had struck the harvest again that year and the miller was desperate. He came to me, hat clutched tightly in filthy fingers, stinking of sweat and manure. Seated comfortably in my observatory, surrounded by telescopes and other delicate apparatus, I recognized his misfortune as an opportunity, and I agreed to lend him my expertise. So, um, I'm not sure if Farmstead Plus unlocks after this one or if after being the miller. Like the original vanilla M miller, but we'll find out. And then, um, like, Farmstead Plus is unlocked and I don't have to do the wave stuff, which I'm not the biggest fan of, like I s I've said a few times now. And after that, we're good. So, we'll see. Uh, we're gonna Vengeful Sp Oh, the one bad thing about this is Vengeful Spirit only has three uses, and this is going to be a longer battle. So I will have to use uh, Dream Nail a few times, and thankfully that's not limited uses. And he does have heals for himself too. So I want to keep these guys in front as much as possible. I thought I put Abyssal Artillery on him. I guess not. That works. I should have gotten the reposts going, to be honest. So, Perilous Flesh. That way we get the Blight Repost going. I, I really did want to go and do the, um... Uncertainty. The birthplace of dread. ...followers, but... Also this. <laughs> So, we'll see. Uh, yeah, he's almost down. Or he will almost be down, rather, but... Uh, we'll do a demon pull. Bandage. Triumph for the stress. Continue the onslaught. So that's a really good way of getting rid of stress, and Triumph does more damage than a uh, brutal blow there if they're at a certain percentage of health. Heavy Impact can hit him if I wanted to. How much do we have? Two on the repost. Yeah, let's do Heavy Impact. Destroy. Go, Rudy, go! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Now I think that the Farmstead Plus guys and the things from uh, Here Be Monsters can spawn in this one. So we'll have to kind of see what happens here. Yeah, he needs, she needs to be in row two for anything. So I'm not going to use the laser rating cyclone just in case I mess that up. And then Triumph, because accuracy and damage versus anything below 50%. Yes, Get us some stress relief. We're going to mark the horsey. What's the stun chance on this? 50? Alright. Now we're going to have to take care of the Crystalline Aberration. That's fine. Also going to uh, try to heal Ludra here. I love the little cat. Back to the pit. And we're going to... This for the repost. The abyss 
returns even the boldest. Careless flesh. Now both of them have repost, and that's basically all they're gonna hit, unless they do an AoE like that. Precision and power. Oh no. Back by two. Back by one. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Festering fear consumes the mind. Cure that, and then we'll do Horn Rush, which will take out the Crofter. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Then we'll just do Peerless Flesh again for now. Let's do Laser Rating Cyclone, because it'll probably take out an Aberration. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. Demon pull this. Can we move it? Triumph. Be gone, fiend. All right. Don't need to anti venom. You can go forward. Actually, can't move Ghost back, which is unfortunate. Uh, so we're going to Dream Nail. She'll stun the horse, at least, and refresh our move back. Uh, then we're going to Voln Hex the horse so that we can do more damage when I move back. Ludra, Horn Rush, move forward. You really don't want to do this because it's minus damage. And then Vengeful Spirit. Let's go. Um. You know what? Let's keep on healing. Just because I know we can fall behind on that. Peerless Flesh. I was gonna guard Sentinel. And I was thinking of triumphing, but we'll do this just because that had a very high chance of happening. Give them no quarter. Alright. Nail. Of course, he had a bad day, but of course that happened. Back by two. Forward by one. Let's horn rush the crofter. It has more health. Take out the crofter. Demon pulled the changeling, cause screw the changeling. Ah, oh, no, don't, don't heal the horse. Fine, triumph the horse. Monstrous size has no intrinsic merit, unless inordinate exaggeration be considered a virtue. Ah. I right, dream nail. Or not dream nail. Um Vengeful Spirit. <laughs> Let's mark him. Bear, do not go up there. Cat's causing issues. <laughs> Alright, break this, heal up. Executed with impunity. Just have you move forward for now, because that's the position I want everyone in. Because that way I can do the shield slam. And 
a changeling takes priority. For the slightest lapse in concentration. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's do this for another one just in case. Because he is at half health. Triumph might take him out. Like so. Okay. He has two health. But then I can shield slam him. Or might I might need to uh, peerless flesh. Either way, he's down. We are going to pull a crofter. Can't vengeful spirit. All right, focus. Go, ghosty, go. That was the wrong one, but nonetheless. Uh, triumph again. Break this. Uh-oh. Genuinely, uh-oh. I thought I would break it and then de-stress everyone. Well, we can uh, still break it via Perilous Flesh. Another abomination cleansed from our lands. Rosencrafter. Okay, so we're gonna Dream Nail, stun the tattered scarecrow. Disabled guarding skills. I do need to heal Ludra. Precipice of Oblivion. Wasn't for much. Alright, shield slam. Or the heavy impact, rather. Pretty much no matter what, this crafter goes down. Can get rid of the another one. Good dodge. Okay. Now we got these again. Okay. Uh, I really would like to get rid of the Rosen Crofter there, but let's let's do this. That way they don't go boom. Heal. I misclicked. I was going to say heal Ludra, but, you know, things happen. Let's try this again. And then we have one round of this left, so go with Crofter. Who's actually probably going to thaw soon. Screw that egg. Screw that egg. Come here, you little bugger. Go away. As bad as the chickens. Ah, no, no, no. Breath from becoming unwound. Two rounds. Let's get rid of the thorn vine. We missed the thorn vine somehow. Let's try it again. We missed it again. It doesn't have dodge. How are we missing it? Right, let's try something here. There we go. Now we got rid of two actions. Use a bandage. Yoludra. There we go. Death denied. For now. That's what I was kind of waiting for. Now this debuff goes away, right? Ornrush the Tattered Scarecrow. Of course. Here, let's flush it. Get our repost back.
I'm wondering if this is going to be the last wave. Uh, since you're in rank three, let's get the crafter. Uh, what what we got is perilous flesh or rage and fear, and I can stun one, and I can de stealth the horse, which would do an AOE attack. That might be the better thing to do. Gonna Vuln Hex the Crafter. And take out the Scarecrow. Wow, is it really that? I suppose, yeah, because only 85 accuracy. Okay. And 15 dodge. But Scarecrow gone. And then we get an Aberration. Lovely. Uh, we're gonna go at the aberration. It's gone. They move up. Let's heal Rudy. The blood pumps. The limb forgot to. Obey. He's at half health. Demolish him. Get rid of action. Re-up that. And vines. Okay. Crystalline vine has more health. Let's do this. And we went back. Awesome. And we're stunned. Uh, you can go back by two. We're fine. We're fine. Don't necessarily want to go back by three, so let's just triumph here. Take out the horsey. Biggest size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Bandage up. Fearless flesh. Take out. Feeble Vine. I think that was a miss. And that's another stun. Lovely. Alright, let's get this one. That's a heal. Let's get this one. That's a heal. The slow death. Unforeseen. Unforgiven. Really? There's more? I get rid of the crystal vine. Obliterated. Okay, that's it. <laughs> the greater the glory. And I mean, the healing mixture actually is for a common trinket is really good for a few things, particularly either the wanderer solo soloing or the silent soloing. That makes things very good if you don't have the trinkets that make things super super easy and you only have one of the two trinkets or like you're trying to do it without those this makes it very easy that's a good one or just like you have a character that has damage on hit or something like that or like damages other people putting that on them negates a lot of the damage so that's nice so we got 3,000, which isn't a lot, but we did get Comet Shards, which are going to be a lot more common now that Farmstead Plus is a thing. Dignitary Guard Duration Received, which would have been such a thing in this group. <laughs> then Pluto Mania Maniac for money on Al. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. 
Yeah, I do have a storyteller, so I'm not going to grab him. But to tell a story, a strange man appeared at the hamlet. He carries himself as though he has seen many eldritch horrors. But his mismatched colored eyes tell a tragic story of loss and loneliness. Plus 50 resolve on the next quest. Which helped a little bit because otherwise these guys would have only gotten to a level 1 and instead they got to love resolve level 3 instead of 2. It's not bad. I don't think I've used the judge yet so let's look at these quirks really quick. Unholy Slayer, Graceless, and Covephobe. Rather than all that, no, uh, we'll, we'll keep what we got. And then we did get a botanist. So Beast Hater, on top of the fact that she has stuff for vegetation and... Betrayer. Aha, uh -huh, we'll, we'll take that for now, but if we find one before I use her... Yeah, we're, we're switching that out. Or I could just pop her in treatment um, and get rid of that. Rex to get rid of both of his diseases, which is awesome. So I don't need to pop him back in to get rid of the deep burn. Let's pop Ludra in there and Chilchuck in here. And otherwise we're good. And it looks like I did actually unlock the Farmstead Plus stuff, which also has a... It's all, the boots of escape are the ones that are broken, it looks like, or have the uh, bad thing. Because that's two for two with the boots of escape exclusively. I kind of want to look around to see if the uh, ancestor's portrait is back in here, because that I don't think should have been a thing at all. So that seems kind of goofy to me. But it does not seem like it is around this time, thankfully. I don't think I would have accepted it either way. That's an interesting one for the occultist. Minus stun chance if in position one. Oh, but it gives weakening curse a 120% stun chance. Invulnerability hex a bleed chance. I want it. <laughs> the next time I'm definitely going for uh, the disturbed graves just to get the splintered trident for the uh, thrall. Gives accuracy and crit for the melee skills, which he is severely lacking in for a little bit of his damage, or a lot of it rather, but accuracy on him is a big thing. Something to uh, change up the occultist, which is going to be really fun. So I'm going to come up with a group for that. We'll uh, go into the Sunward Isles as a start next time and then see what comes from there, I suppose, because I, I would like to hunt some of this other stuff now. Or the Miller, rather, is available, but I don't have any veterans to go fight him yet. Maybe we'll have that, maybe we won't, and we'll go from there. Because, like I said, as a start, we'll be doing this. I'm assuming that's not going to take a full episode. I don't know, though. We'll see. That'll be it for this time. It really helps out the channel if you'd like the video, if you liked it. Dislike the video if you dislike it. Leave a comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But otherwise, as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.